Lellis from the Rick Group here. I'm going to give you a webinar on our warehouse management solution for SAP Business One, and this webinar will be focusing on integration with SAP Business One HANA. The Rick Group has customers all over the world, including Australia, New Zealand, North America, Asia, Middle East, and Africa. With SAP Business One HANA, our warehouse management solution integrates using the service layer and is certified using the service layer. It allows users or customers using SAP Business One HANA to have their database anywhere in the world and then have our cloud warehouse management solution running on anywhere in the world as well. With the SQL version of SAP Business One, we use the DI API to integrate. The majority of our customers are in distribution and discrete manufacturing. We've been sponsors of the SAP summits for a number of years, including recently in 2017 at Macau and Fort Lauderdale. We work with the SAP Business One Partner channel globally, and we've also participated in the APJ Growth Series. So our warehouse management solution is written or developed in C-sharp and MVC. It's real-time and allows users to use tablet devices and rugged PDAs such as CypherLab RS50s. It's completely agnostic, so therefore can run on any operating system and any hardware. It allows users to have live audits now, seeing what's happening at that time in the warehouse, multiple pickers on the same pick, and for that fact as well, you can have multiple people on the goods receipt as well. Sales at the Rick Group's the best way to contact us. Feel free to visit our website and YouTube channel for more information. So firstly, we have our HANA running in Oregon, uh, USA. So it's in a completely different AWS server. And um, what we have is our warehouse management solution here running on a completely different IIS. So both solutions are running in the cloud. And what I want to do is create a sales order in a SAP Business One HANA, and I also want to create an inventory transfer request and show you how those two documents come across into uh, the solution, the warehouse management solution. So firstly, I'm going to create a sales order. So once I select the customer and then select the delivery date, I can select the items. I'm just going to select two items here. I've got two items. Um, I could choose a different quantity if I wish and then add that. So now that you see sales order 558 has been created. Now I could right click and say generate pick list. But what I want to do is go into the pick pack manager and generate the pick list that way. Now I've selected my date. I've got sales orders and transfer requests. And I can see it's 558 there and I can release. At the moment, what we've got is our warehouse management solution. It's going to pick the sales order or the transfer request or the reserve invoice or production order if I released it. And it's going to just send it back and fulfill the pick document. It's not going to automatically create the delivery document for this webinar. So we've got two ways of doing this. We can auto create the delivery document. However, some customers prefer it to come back in the picked and then create the document from there. So once I just generate this and we go into released, you'll see that 298 pick number has been created 558. So if I go into the warehouse management solution and refresh on picking, you can see that 298 has come across instantly. So the software here goes and looks up through um, the service layer to the SAP Business One HANA database. So if I scan the items A001 and A03, it will automatically increment in the pick quantity. I could also scan the bin locations that I'm picking uh, the item from. I'm just going to select the item manually and drive into the item manually. When I drop down the um, list here, the bin location list, note that that's the bin locations that the item exists in HANA at this current time. So if I select a different bin location, you can see here quantity on hand completely updates in real time. So I'm going to add that and say that I've picked two. Again, if I was to scan the item, it will automatically put in the audit below. Click Next. And then I'm going to add here as well, and I'm going to choose uh, L02. So I've chosen a different bin location that the, uh, the pick list um, generated. And once I go back to Auto Pick Lines, because it's automatically been fulfilled, it sends it back to SAP Business One straight away. So we'll go back into SAP Business One. 
So we had um, you know 298 as the document. And now I can go across to pick now, and now I can see that 298 has come across. If I just use the golden arrow to open it up, I can come across, and I can see that not, not only has the pick quantities come across, according to what we picked in the warehouse management solution, but I've also updated that second line to the pick or the bin location that we've picked the item from. So now the user can create the delivery. So the second part to this webinar is infantry transfer requests. So here's the sales order 558. We've picked, we send back the pick list and then creates a delivery and you can open up the delivery and come across. Um, you know, And we can see that the bin location that we picked from has come across into the delivery document as well. So let's go into infantry transactions, close the sales order, and we can go into infantry transfer requests. So we've got a document, we can see that it's created, but what I want to do is transfer an item. Uh, select the first one. If I scroll across, you can see that I'm creating a transfer request and I want to send it to another warehouse. So I know that zero uh, should be zero two. Select it that way. So I'm selecting the zero one item and I want to select it from the one we warehouse one to warehouse two and I can say add. So if I have a look at that transfer request, it's open. I can see that. So I can now drive into the pick pack manager and once I drive into the pick pack manager, I've got it selected on transfer requests as well. I can select OK and I can see the transfer document here, document 20, has come across. So I'm going to release that to a pick list. And I want the warehouse management solution to do the same thing, which is pick that pick list. So I generate the pick list and when in released, I can see here now, once I click, that 229 or 299 has been created. The pick list 299 has been created for the transfer document TR number 20. So let's go into the warehouse management solution. And I can see 299 document number 20 has been created. So I've only got to pick one item and I'm you know, going to do that by selecting the item manually. And I click add. And when I go back to pick lines, it's going to know that the order has been completely fulfilled or the pick list has been fulfilled and will automatically send back to SAP Business One HANA. So it was transfer document number 20. So if we go into picked, we can see that 299 transfer document pick 20 has come across. If I have a look at that pick, I can see that here from warehouse to warehouse and the pick quantity has been created and click OK and now I'm just going to select that and say infantry transfer because this one's a transfer and say add and say yes so now I can go back to that transfer that transfer request refresh I can see that now nah, it's been closed and then I can right click and go to relationship map and see the infantry transfer and here you can see that the transfer has been created. So I can create the transfer requests, I can create sales orders. Anything that you can create a pick list for in SAP Business One through the Pick Pack Manager and release it, then our warehouse management solution will see. So we can see that one and two from warehouse one to two. All right, thank you for listening. Um, appreciate your time. And if you do have any questions, please feel free to email us at sales at the Thank you.